Sweet. Stay down. He's shooting. He's got her. He threw her out right off the bus. Hey. Ow. 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 He's gonna wreck it. He's gonna wreck it. He's gonna wreck it. He's done. You're done. You're done. Hey, everybody. Welcome back for another episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR. And today we are headed out to the Blaine County Sheriff's Office in this uh, awesome Jasper George inspired pack. And this was recommended to me by one of my viewers, uh, Deputy Rave, and I hope I said your name right this time. Um, had recommended this pack to me, and I, I really liked it. It was actually on my list of packs I wanted to rotate through, so I just kind of bumped it to the front, and uh, here we are. But I think they look really good. They are uh, based on some cars I used previously. If you recall, the black and silver BCO cars, those are the base. And then they have these awesome skins to them, and they, they, they look great. So, anyway, we're heading out with the county this morning. We're going to do what we always do. We'll hit the radar. We'll take some calls. We'll, uh, we'll do some traffic, and we'll see what we can get into. We're going to go ahead and get started. Attention all units. We've got a 148 in San Chian Ski Mountain Range. It's in like a 21. She'll be responding. We'll not call back. Stay on until total arrives. See if we can get up here and help I with this. Dispatch, we got a visual on the perp. Looks like they got off the freeway. I'm going to actually try to go down the highway and parallel them. Because they'll more than likely try to get back on down here. Nothing else. Maybe we can get out in front of them. Try to block the road. Nope. I tried. If I had... I don't use the, uh, the independent spike strip mob, but maybe I should. All right. Ten Lincoln 21, we're, uh, we're in pursuit, dispatch. Ten four, copy that. Well, a little too fast coming around these corners here. But we are, we have caught up with them at least. We're heading into Grapeseed, west on Union. Heading towards Grapeseed downtown. I've got one state unit with me who just did a pit. He just did a pit. Uh, unsuccessful. Suspect is continuing on to... Grapeseed Main Street. We're on Grapeseed Main Street westbound. I am secondary at this time. He's going to try it again. Uh, he just... State unit just wrecked out of the gas station. I'm assuming primary. We're southbound on uh, Grapeseed Main Street. Uh, vehicle almost flipped. I think they're going to lose it. They're off-road. They're off-road now. They're in the water. They're in the water. We got more units. Get some more units out here. Assistance required and grape seed. Come on, man. Get the get, get your gun up. Got a visual on the perp. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. I got this guy. Screw you. I see the perp. We're in pursuit. I got that guy. We got another one running this way. Just in a car. Oh no you don't! No you don't! Get out of that car! Get out of that car, you son of a bitch! Get my taser out here. Come on! Tase him! There. Come up again, you get shot, dude. Point that gun at me again, you get shot. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. It's over! Put your hands on your head. Strands on your head. Officer, I need us to back up here. This is fucking crazy. I think they're they're still engaged with the other suspects there. I got this guy in custody. Ten Lincoln 21 requesting medical assistance. Ambulance, backup needed. Great seed. I hate to do it, but we're gonna just secure him right here. Oh, she just shot a cop. Hey, he got back up. Oh, there's a there's a grape seed officer down though. We got an officer down here. Damn it, cover me! What the fuck? 
Where the hell are those medics? Come on, guys. Come on, man. Stay with me. Stay with me. Alright, just so that prompt stops. Here come the medics. Alright, CPR failed for me. Let's get another medic out here. Do not panic. Help has arrived. Ambulance. Assistance I'm just going to spawn him, actually. Speed. There we go. I don't know who the hell that is. is. I don't know who that is. Standing on top of that car there, but... Oh Alright, someone's God, still alive. This one. This one. This was the driver, I believe. Hang on, I'm gonna see if it'll let me grab him. Hang on. Hands in the air now! Nah. Wait. Nope, they're gonna take him. Alright. Let me get this guy out of the water here. Come on, dude. Should have gotten here faster. Now that officer didn't make it. Damn it. I need a drink. Get on the ground. Let me get my other suspect. Grab that screenshot there. Oh, wait, nope, it's that one. Connor Bryant. Alright, well, we have a new... I didn't even close that door. We have a new uh, memorial entry to make on Discord. I don't know what the deal with that guy is, but whatever. I'll go up there and grab him here in a minute. Oops. Your ass on the no. Down the ground. Let's go see what's going on with this guy. Is this one of our? Oh, it's it's this. It's freaking uh, super vents. All right. So that's not one of ours. Let me go turn that that trooper siren off. Okay, so we've got two down, one didn't make it, one did. And they're all getting, you know what, I'm going to, oh, there, there's the one that didn't make it. All right, let's search her first. I'm going to, she's the one that killed the cop, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video before I do charges on this one, but we're going to search them all and see what's going on here. What a way to start the day. A bottle of Vicodin pills, a pack of a, a pack of Redwood cigarettes, a condom, a, a prolapse receipt, and a Beretta Tomcat. She got a gun on her. This is a uh, Emory Zane. All right, you can stay on the water. I don't care about you. Search this vehicle. Burnt crack pipe in the passenger side, parachute, and a narcotic anonymous coin. There's nothing special there either. All right, ten Lincoln Twenty One requesting coroner. Backup needed. Go ahead and let the corner get out here. Get up, asshole. So what was that all about, man? Why'd you guys run? Do you know who I am? I'm gonna find out who you are, and your ass is going to prison for a long time, man. Why'd you guys do that? Because they pissed me off. Alright, man. You got anything illegal on you? Am I free to go? No, stupid. You're under arrest. You're under arrest, and you're hopefully going to prison for a very long time. Show coroner on scene dispatch. Well, he's got a pair of handcuffs, a set of keys, and a Lachin receipt. Jason Carver. Makes me think they were trying to kidnap somebody, too. Alright, you can get up now. This question. What about you, man? Why'd you guys run? Do you know who my dad is? Nah, dude. Screw you, entitled kids. Uh, what'd you guys do that for? No reason, but you just killed a cop for no reason? Ah, hell. Alright, I'm just gonna pat you down. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. I'm about to beat you to death right here. Alright, so he's got a burger shot receipt, a Pacific Standard credit card, a pocket digital camera, dollar pills receipt, and a Ruger LCP. So they both, they had guns, the one girl had guns. Um, I think he he had something, but I don't remember what it was. I'll check. Uh, 
let's check their records here. Alright, so they've cleared the bodies. See if these guys have any kind of records. Dominic Weenus. Um, I don't even have a license and dot approved helmet. Nothing special there. And then uh, Jason Carver. Had a warrant for... Uh, we're just going to say that he's wanted in connection with a vehicular homicide. Because that, that, that isn't actually something he can have a warrant for. So, Alright, well, I'm going to go review the recording here. Figure out what charges need to be filed. Get these people filed and, and charged. I'm going to grab someone to simulate the uh, the female that was transported by... Uh, I think it was a female that was transported by EMS. And then we're going to get back on the road. What a What a shitty way to start our day. A big old line. truck up there is kind of weaving a bit. Ten Lincoln Twenty One, show me ten seven. Ten four. Yeah, I'd say he's kind of drunk. Let's get this guy out of our way. All right, so what we're gonna do is head up here, and then we'll stop him once we turn on to Sea View here. Right, we're going slow, and he's just gonna roll right through the stop sign. Alright, pretty good stop there, but I'm going to have him uh, pull up a bit out of the way here. It's a little safer for me on the road there, you know. 10 Lincoln 21, show me on a stop. 10 Lincoln 21, show me on a stop. 10 4 is backup required. Negative. 10 4, proceed with caution. But I actually do want a second unit out here, I just want a. Uh, Required on I just wanted to come code two instead of for a traffic stop. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't this guy. I will be there in All right, there we go. So we've got a Sand King, 24 Victor David David 860, sunset red, it's a pretty color. Uh, valid and clear. Owner is a Mateus Gentilla. Oh my. Oh my. I'm so glad we called for a second unit. So he's got a warrant for sexual imposition. Which, that's disgusting. He's been trespassed from somewhere. A couple of citations. And he's got prior charges for inciting to riot, public in talks, possession of marijuana, impersonated peace officer, and receiving stolen property. This guy... Okay. I don't know. None of those are really violent crimes. So... Yeah. We're just gonna... Hey there. We're just gonna... We're just going to deal with this ourselves. No reason to take him out of the car at gunpoint. Hello. Hey, man, how you doing? My name's Deputy Devin Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Why don't you step out of the car for me, man? Wait a sec, buddy. Okay, he looks like he's pretty drunk. All right, man, come on. What I want you to do... Am I, am I going to grab him? There we go. Right, let's step over here, my man. Look at him stumbling. Let's just step right over here, because I don't want you to get hit by a car, okay? Sorry, here we are. So, all right, man. Listen, let's let's get our observations Hello. here. We already got most of them. I mean, we can see that he is drunk. He is stumbling everywhere. Thanks. Let's see what we got here. Uh, slurred speech, slow reactions, constricted pupils, odor of alcohol. We do have Mateus Gentilla here. Okay. All right, man. So listen, dude. The reason I pulled you out of the car. Is. Well, actually, you know what? Before I do that, why don't you turn around and put your hands around your back Come for me, man? Now. I'm not even going to bother with a roadside test. Not with him having a warrant and everything. 10 Lincoln 21, show one in custody. 10 4. Hey, man, if you'd like to go after them, I got this. What's going on? Huh. Oh god. Oh god. How utterly ridiculous. Bye. Anyway. I'd like to go deal with that, but we got this guy. So, uh, you been drinking today, my man? Please understand, officer. I only drank one beer. I don't know, man. You seem like you're pretty drunk. But, honestly, that's not why I got you out of the car, man. The reason I got you out of the car is, are you aware there's a warrant for your arrest? 
get your supervisor. I don't need my supervisor, man. I've already confirmed your warrant, dude. You're under arrest. Um, you got a warrant for sexual imposition in addition to, uh, looks like you've been drinking and driving, my man. But I'll tell you what, you got, you got a chance. Do you want to take a breathalyzer test? Okay. All right, buddy. I appreciate that. Go ahead, turn around here and face me. And then, uh, what I want you to do is just blow in this tube till I tell you to stop. And that's good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. 0 0.095, so just a bit over 0 0.08. All right, man, so let me just let you know right now that you are under arrest for uh, OBI in addition to your warrant. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything to say can will be used in a court of law, right to an attorney. Can't afford one. One will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. You understand your rights? Okay, yeah, that's fine, man. You get it. That's cool, man. If you think you can if you think you think can represent your health, you do your thing, man. It don't matter to me one way or the other. You got anything illegal on you, you want to tell me about? You do? What am I going to find when I pat you down, man? No, you're not free to go. Why would you Why would you ever think that you would tell me you had illegal things on you and then you'd be free to go? Why would you ever think that? Anything in the vehicle you want to tell me about? Yes, you are being detained. You are under arrest. I explained that already. When I search your vehicle, man, what am I going to find? Wouldn't you like to know? I'm going to find out, smart guy. Turn around. This is why you have a record. Pair of handcuffs, Glock 17 with a scratch serial number, a can of Sprunk, a condom, and a SIG P250. Jesus Christ, dude, you've got two guns, one of which has a scratch serial number, the other one doesn't. But you can't have a gun either way. You don't even have a gun permit. So we'll be taking those from you. Have a seat in the back of my car, man. Oh, you finally managed to get out. Good for you. Alright, let's search his vehicle here. Man, he's got one hell of a record. Meltdown transcript, an HKPM P7M10, a backpack of school supplies, a black powder rifle, a bag containing several one kilogram packages of tan powder, several bags of groceries, a baggie weighing a baggie weighing more than one ounce of marijuana, a set of a set of golf clubs, and several loose rounds of ammunition. My god. Okay, so there is another gun in the car. There's a black powder rifle on the passenger seat, which, okay. A bag containing several one kilogram packages of tan powder. That's some weight. This dude is moving weight right here. Got some groceries, whatever. A baggie with more than one ounce of marijuana. He's already got a charge for that, so that's not surprising. And then several loose rounds of ammunition, which doesn't really mean anything to me, except for the fact that it's got a place in the back. This dude has a shit ton of guns. Frickin' ridiculous. Let's get him out of the car and ask him about the dope. So, uh... Tell me about that dope, man. Like... Let's see here. What is that shit in your car, man? Go find some real crimes that harass me. I'm pretty sure I found all the real crime in Grapeseed today, and it's you. Those your dope? Is, is that your dope? That must belong to my friend. She's with the other. Your friend's moving weight. But now you're moving weight. All right, man, you can get back in the car. It's fine. I really wish you could talk to him through the door of the car or, like, open the door and talk to him. I think that'd be really cool. That way you didn't have to get him back out of the car. So, all right. Well, shit. Let's test the, let's test the dope then, I guess. Let's see what he's got. Now, he didn't have anything on him. He just had the two guns on him. But he's got weed in the car, which is whatever. I mean, I'll charge him for it. And then... A bit of tan powder. I really hope this is fentanyl, because we have a we have a circumstance modifier for fentanyl. I hate to say that I hope this is fentanyl, but you know what I mean. Alright, so we got a bit of tan powder, we're just gonna test for fentanyl first. And it is! Mm, got my wish. Alright. So yeah, we're gonna get this guy charged. We're gonna get his car towed out of here, and I think, I think we maybe have time for one more. I'm not sure. I'll check it out, and uh, we'll be back either way. Oh, what the hell's wrong with that guy? Did you guys see that? And if he was pulling out of that motel, then that's a high drug area, so it's worth making a stop on him. He's turning here. 
He looked like he had a little bit of trouble driving coming out of there. What are you doing, man? What the hell is this? Let's see what we've got here. Oops, that's not what I want. It's a Stratum. 20, 21 Frank James Adam 573. It's valid and clear. Jack Kramer is the RO. Jack Kramer is valid and clear. Been stopped a few times. It's got priors for aggr aggravated burglary. I'm sorry, aggravated battery and felonious assault. So we are definitely going to be getting a second unit out here. Uh, 10 Lincoln 21. Four, so five, start me a second unit. 10 Lincoln 21, show me on a stop. 10 Lincoln 21, show me on a stop. 10 4 is backup required. Affirmative. 10 4, backup required. Uh, Roger, dispatch 2 4. Here comes the uh, Army Police three. Department to help us out. There's their, uh, Explorer that I didn't use last time. Don't need my gun out. Dude's got priors for assault and uh, felonious assault and battery, so just wanted some help with this. Hey man, Hello. what are you doing? My name is Deputy Devin Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop is uh, you kind of had some trouble maintaining your lane when you were pulling out onto uh, 68 back there. I just wanted to make sure you were okay, and then when I Try to get you to stop. We ended up in a field. A little concerned about that. You have your ID on you, sir? Let's see some ID, huh? Thanks. All right, so we do have Jack Kramer here. All right, so do you know why I pulled you over, man? The main reason I pulled you over is one, you're having trouble maintaining your lane. So I'm pretty sure we have that in here somewhere, don't we? There it is. Sorry, I was messing with my radio and looked away from the road. Okay, that's actually plausible. Uh, but also, kind of recklessly driving, man. I mean, how do we end up in this field? thought you were driving fine. You think you're driving fine, but we're sitting in the middle of a field. Like, seriously. Unless you live in one of these trailers, which I don't think you do, then... Where, where are you coming from today, man? Don't worry about it. Oh, okay, so it's like that. Where are you headed to? I'm going to drop something off. You are? Okay, because you didn't stay. I watched you pull out of the hotel there, and you didn't stay in there real long. So, uh, address on your license current, man? Uh, 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 what, man? You got anything illegal in the vehicle, man? Be, be straight with me. I can work with you. It's none of my business. Okay. All right, well, can I search your vehicle then? It's a violation of the Constitution. I know my rights. Okay, sir. I understand that. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to ask you to step out of the vehicle at this time, okay? All right. Why don't you step over here Hold with on me? A sec. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get a K-9 out Assistance here. Assistance needed on Route 68. Not that it ever really matters, but we'll see. Oh, uh, that's not even treating this as being on a traffic stop now. Okay. All right, dude. So we're going to ask him again. All right, man, listen. You're acting super cagey. If there's nothing in your vehicle, then I only, you know, th th then it's fine. But is there anything in that vehicle you want to tell me about? No, you're not free to go. Will you consent to a search of your vehicle? Okay. Yeah, that was a yes or no question, man. I don't want to hear your threats. What I want to know is a yes or a no. You're gonna kill me if I try. All right, man. Turn around, put your hand on your back for me. You are going. You're under down. arrest for intimidation. That is a felony, by the way. Now I'm gonna pat you down, and I'm gonna search your car. And I'm gonna laugh when there ain't nothing in it. A baggie of heroin, knuckle dusters, a pencil, and a flashlight. All right, man, tell me about this dope I just found on you, man. What's this? What's this baggie of powder and stuff, man? What is this? Some guy told me to pick it up. I don't know what it is. Did some guy tell you to pick it up from the hotel right there? Because I know you did. That's exactly what you just did. So, all right, man. You know what? Okay, let's 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 see here. All right. I'm going to just put him in the back of my car here. 
Alright, man, have a seat in the back of my car, Mr. Kramer. Watch your head. Alright. Just keep an eye on him, man. I'm gonna search his car. I'm betting I'm gonna find something in it, though. Oh, yeah. A duffel bag filled with prescription pill bottles and a Smith & Wesson M&P 15. Got a rifle in a trunk along with a duffel bag full of prescription pill bottles. That's intended to distribute if I ever saw one. Alright, so we got him. He's got priors already, but he wasn't committing a violent crime when we stopped him, so I don't think any of those are going to apply. I am a, I am a hit him for the gun, though, in addition to... Well, let's test that heroin just to confirm that it is heroin. Which I think was spelled wrong, but that's not... That's not my item. That was, um... So all my stuff says suspect before it. I think that was added to him by one of the uh, various random event generators. So a baggie of heroin. So he doesn't have a he doesn't have a female hero in a bag. At least I hope not. We have all kinds of new charges if that's the case. So hit it with the marquee reagent first. Yep. Test positive for heroin. Alright, so this guy's going down for quite a few charges, and that's going to pretty much do it for our shift. Hey, man, I, I appreciate your help, bud. You're free to go. Thanks for coming out and helping me, man. I'm, I'm so glad they got a police department out here. You guys need it. So, alright. We're going to get back in the car and get this guy charged. We'll get his car towed out of here, and that's going to pretty much do it for our episode. So we'll, uh, we'll be back. All right, everybody, we're back. We've got like five people that we need to run through the court system. We got a, we got a lot of dope off the streets today. That's that's one thing to be very happy about. But we'll start down here with Jason Carver. He was one of the four people that was in that van. Uh, he was actually the one that surrendered. <clears throat> Excuse me. He was actually the one that surrendered. Uh, we heard a taser go off while we were dealing with um, the guy we were chasing who pulled the gun on us. Um, so he actually ended up having a warrant for vehicular assault, which is where that comes from. And if he hadn't had that warrant, then he really only would have went for complicity in a fourth-degree felony. The fourth-degree felony in question here is felony fleeing and eluding, which he's complicit in the driver. We don't know what we were chasing them for. So I didn't charge him for, like, aggravated robbery or anything. I, I assume they were fleeing from a crime, but in this case, I don't know, so I didn't, I didn't want to articulate charges on it. But he had a gun on him when we patted him down. And he was complicit in a fourth degree felony in addition to his warrants. So he's going to receive uh, three, four, five years in prison and a thousand dollar fine, which I think for his part and all that is probably fair. He was the um, he was the least involved of all of them. Uh, then we had Dominic Weenus. That was the passenger. And you can see I threw the book at him. He is the one who bailed out of the car. He is the one who attempted to steal the police vehicle. He is the one who pulled the gun on us when we pulled him out of the vehicle. So we charged him with assaulting a public official for pulling the gun, grand theft of motor vehicle for stealing the police car, resisting arrest with violence, carrying a concealed weapon, he had another gun on him when we patted him down, uh, possession of drug abuse instrument because when we, when we searched the van, there was a crack pipe on his side of the van, so he's catching that too, which it's a minor misdemeanor, so it's probably not even going to matter. But anyway, he's going to have a displayed in crime charge for the gun charge and then complicity or a, a, a gun spec for displaying it in the crime since he pointed it at us in addition to complicity in a fourth degree felony. And I'm hoping he goes away for a long time. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen years in prison. Uh, I really wish they couldn't be found not guilty of this because that's not possible. But whatever, I'll still take fifteen years in prison. Not guilty on carrying a concealed weapon. I don't know how that works out, but... Maybe something happened to the weapon or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm still happy with his 15 years in prison. Um, he'll be on probation when he gets out for that misdemeanor charge. So even in the end, it actually did some good to charge him with it. So Acer White is not the name of the person. Now, that's the person we shot um, when they pulled the gun on us on the beach. Um, but, of course, he was escorted away by medics, so we had to find another person to stand in for him. But uh, he did not fire the weapon, so we only charged him with assault on a public official, failure to comply since he wouldn't stop, uh, resisting a re resist. Uh, let, let me rephrase that. He was also the driver of the vehicle. The failure to comply comes from the complicity in the fourth degree felony from the other ones. So there's the original charge that they were all complicit with: resisting arrest with violence, assault, assault, and gun displayed in crime. And he's going to do another four, five, six, seven, eight years. He'll do eight years for his part in that. So 
Dominic did get the uh, the lion's share at the time, and I and I think that's completely appropriate. Um, so I have no problem with that. They're all doing, they're all doing some pretty long time, and I'm good with it. Unfortunately, we weren't able to charge the woman who killed the grape seed officer. Uh, Connor Bryant was his name. Um, I'll enter him into the Discord channels. Um, uh, LSPDFR Officer Dow Memorial, um, which if you don't know and you're not on the Discord, I do keep a record of all the officers that are killed uh, in the line of duty on these episodes, just as a kind of a neat little thing. But uh, anyway, so we'll make that entry. Um, we're not going to be able to charge her since she opened fire on him. She shot a second officer, too, and then we, we dropped her, which, great. Anyway, uh, Matthias Gentilla. Matthias Gentilla was the uh, drunk driver we stopped with all the charges. We charged him with uh, OVI first defense. He had a con he had two weapons on him. One was a, uh, was a I think it was a Beretta and a Glock. The Glock had a scratch serial number, so there's the defaced firearm charge. Intent to traffic narcotics for the individually packaged one kilogram um, one one kilogram breaks. You don't distribute I any drug in kilogram sizes in general, so um, that's usually trafficking it goes down to the dealer level at that point. So anyway, uh, it did turn out to be fentanyl, so he gets the uh, the, nar uh, the narcotics trafficking with fentanyl as an extra charge, in addition to having guns in his possession and a crime, in addition to weapons under disability, since he is a felon, he did have previous felony convictions, a, a bunch of them. I don't remember exactly what they were. None of them were violent. You know, the only thing I didn't charge him for, I forgot to charge him for the weed. He had more than an ounce of marijuana in the car, but at this point, that's piddly shit. So... He's going to do... His, lunch, his license has been for 33 months. He gets probation for the for the firearm. He gets 4, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 years, 18 years, 19, 20, 20, 22, 22 years. He's in for 22 years. He got the maximum sentence for the fentanyl. Um, he got another four years for trafficking fentanyl. Another year for the gun, which makes sense. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. Two years for open under disability. Yeah, yeah. He's in prison for quite a while. We shouldn't be seeing Matthias... Gentilla around for quite a while. And then lastly was Jack Kramer. Uh, we caught him pulling out of that uh, hotel where we're pretty sure he purchased uh, or he picked up narcotics that was transporting them. We charged him with intent to distribute narcotics. He had a whole duffel bag full of pills and uh, in distribution form uh, in addition to carrying some heroin on him as well. So we got him for controlled substance for heroin and for also having weapons of disability because he also had felony charges and an MMP-15 in the trunk. And he's going to receive 10 years for the distribution, another 7 years for weapons under disability. Um, maybe our reagent test got messed up or something, and that's why he was found not guilty on heroin, or maybe the results didn't get entered correctly or something, but that sounds like it's going to be on the part of the evidence handling or the prosecution and not on us, because he definitely should have been found guilty of that. And when he does get out 17 years from now, he'll be... Uh, He'll be uh, on probation for his possession of a controlled substance. So, all right, guys. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR. Um, want to thank everybody who's new to the channel, and I obviously want to say say thank you to the uh, to the supporters who've been around for a while. Everybody's equally appreciated. Uh, I love the fact you guys are leaving comments for vehicles you want me to use and whatnot. Like I said, this pack that I'm using, and I'll keep it around for a little while, was uh, was suggested by a user, and uh, I um I'm. I, I just installed Sticky Wheels and I was playing with it. Sorry, uh, and I'm 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 really happy to do fan service like that. Um, you know, like li like I always say, I I want to do what you guys want to see. So, anyway, let me know in the comments what you want to see. Hit me up on Discord. But as always, stay safe out there, you guys.